Have you ever gotten tripped up thinking about the difference between high availability and disaster recovery? Yeah, me too. I'm Clark Ritchie, Principal Technologist with Amazon Web Services, and I think I found a way to make it easy to remember the difference. I just got these holiday lights that I'm gonna hang in my cubicle, and I think I can use them to explain high availability versus disaster recovery. Have you ever had a set of lights, probably an old set, and when a single bulb goes out, the entire set of lights go out? Those lights aren't highly available. A simple failure, one that is fairly likely to occur, such as a bulb going out, will take out the entire strand of lights. That's not ideal. Now these lights I have here do cost a bit more than an old set, like the one we were just talking about, but I think it's gonna be worth it, and they look really cool. Let's see how they handle that light bulb failure. Awesome, look at that. I lost a bulb, but most of my lights stayed on. But what about disaster recovery? Disaster recovery is planning for big events that are rare, but could have a significant impact on us. Like, what if we lost power? I planned for a power failure by having a battery backup from my lights. That was my disaster recovery plan. I rarely have to use it, but if I really, really want to make sure that my lights can be on, I can spend the money for that backup, and that way, I know I can survive a disaster like a power failure. Well, I hope this cleared up the difference between high availability and disaster recovery. Now, I've gotta go hang up these lights. Bye.